Welcome to myprojectbazaar.com This is our project title for the efficient heart disease prediction system. Okay, this is our abstract for the first of all the distinguishing proof of cardiovascular uh, element uh, is an imperative yet an intricate errand that should be performed minutely and uh, proficiently and the right robotization would be exponentially attractive so here the fundamental challenge of learning a classification model for risk prediction lies in the unlabeled data that con constitutes the majority of the collected data sets the proposed system presents a semi supervised graph based algorithm semi supervised graph based algorithm called sh health so here the novel graph extraction mechanism is used for handling heterogeneity the results show that the proposed system achieve effectiveness and efficiency on both uh, real health examination data sets and uh, synthetic data sets okay so this is the flow diagram for the uh, intel health examination records uh, the domains of data means so the data mining is nothing but it's a non trivial extractions of implicit previously unknown and potentially useful information from the data so that the data mining so the data mining uh, is uh, most important for the analyzing analyzing for the uh, here we will analyzing the health examination record that means analyzing the uh, patient status so first of all we are using the data set uh, creating the different attributes based will load the data set after the data set will be loaded into the database so finally we will processing the pre process uh, pre process means extracting the status and the follow up patients uh, uh, information to be find out after the uh, perform mining process that means the data mining process for the uh, clustering and the classifications always said with here different classification algorithms using we will classifications that means generate the item set from symptoms so here we will using the diabetic data set so the diabetic data set based uh, what are the symptoms to be used suppose the weight loss and the skin prims so these are some data uh, items that means that these are some symptoms based uh, what are the disease to be find out for the patients to be created so after the create frequent item set uh, based on the diabetic data set so after the perform association rule mining so the what are the mm, process for the rule mining is completed so the performing rpc algorithms and the data coverage algorithm ap rx collections and the bus algorithms so these are some data mining process based we will implement in the rule mining process the rule mining with checking to the uh, false positive rate finally the extract patients reports so finally the patients reports uh, final one is the bus algorithm the bus algorithm is nothing but the bus means the data transportation so here the data will be transported from the source and destinations but the bus process means the bottom to top approach bottom to top approach means uh, the bottom uh, bottom side with we will implementing uh, that means we will finding the results that means the because the patient is normal or abnormal so we will uh, see the bottom up bottom to top approach with uh, how to will calculate the the patient is how to find out that the patient is normal or abnormal uh, because we are seeing the data classifications how to view classification uh, that means we are using the different set of classification algorithms so how to classification means we will uh, clustering the data so how to clustering means we will pre processing so every step by step we will uh, forwarding so this is the bus process so finally we will calculating the uh, okay uh, now the demo section is start for the efficient heart disease prediction system uh, so this is our home page for the efficient heart disease prediction system so when i click to home it's go for the further uh, data loading process all well, the first one is the data set selection so choose the data set diabetics details so click to the next so is the pre processing and loaded into the <laughs> pre processing and loaded into the database so click to the pre processing so here the pre processing is successfully completed so check your files okay so loaded into the database so this is the insertion and the viewing information for the data so uh, the data will be inserted into the database that means the patient's report is successfully inserted so show the data so the patient details are visible so this is the patient uh, list that means the statusing for the patient's details so the status patient report is inserted successful so this is the total count for the 698 is the total count for the status of patients 
so follow up patients so this is the 68 so here uh, we are using the different set of classifications algorithm that means the clustering and the classifications process so here in this uh, phase we will implementing the some classifications algorithm uh, for example the navy basin linear regression association rule mining the support vector machine so these are some class uh, nearest uh, k nearest neighbor so these are some data classification algorithms using we will implementing this process so uh, click to the rule selection that means the association rule mining uh, using implementation process to be further so click to the database diabetic.txt uh, so uh, here i am choosing the diabetic data sets so what are the count uh, supporting and uh, con uh, support and confidence process uh, for using this process Okay, uh, so choosing the uh, different data set as the symptoms that takes to so this is the support count rule mining calculation high risk patients okay uh, so this is the RPC is stored in our database that means the RPC means relative patients coverage so the RPC data is successfully stored on the patients so this is the high risk patients information to be retrieved okay so uh, so go for testing process so this is the username and passwords so click to uh, new user information suppose the new user information is Arun Arun Pondian at gmail.com uh, so the status Meghalaya so the capital is Shillong so this is the uh, username this is password so this is confirm password okay uh, so click for register so it's a successful uh, so this is the username so this is password so click to the login so the arun is the valid user go ahead okay uh, so this is the user details so the count this is the RBC count so it's a glass of water so this is the hemoglobin so pallet count okay so the data is encrypted so send health to M here information to be retrieved so click to the health frame Okay, so this is the M health care information. So the users click to four. So these are some users. Uh, when I click to the patient's report, he is a normal patient. So here we are using the WC count, RBC count, and the glass of waters, hemoglobin, palate count, and the diabetic status. So the diabetic status is or no. So here uh, these are some uh, details based. Uh, we are calculating the given patient is normal or abnormal. So choosing eight, he is an abnormal patient. Five, click to next. He is a normal patient. So these are some informations which we will calculating the process. Okay, now we will uh, now we will find out the patient details are uh, uh, normal or abnormal. These are some extra classifications informations to be specified. <laughs> uh, suppose uh, when we uh, click to the status, that means. Uh, status one means these are some particular informations. So this is uh, uh, some extra uh, our metadata informations to be sp uh, specified. Uh, here, uh, first of all, we are uh, describe the informations as the patient is normal or abnormal. But in this case, we are find out the mm, patient status. Suppose the one is uh, normal or zero is abnormal. Suppose the status one means that means uh, one disease is serious. That means zero is not series of disease so uh, this is the disease information to be described but in this case the disease and names and its levels is the recovery times so these are some particular informations to be specified okay so click to the medical so click to the time so uh, morning means so these are some informations uh, to be specified click to the evening so some particular information so click to night so some particular information so these are some informations to be specified
so uh, these are uh, some extra metadata information for the most expensive medicine so this is some uh, cancer or diabetic medicine names uh, here for example here using the cancer drugs so these are some medicine names so this is the cancer type suppose we are using the cancer drugs uh, funds means this is the improved uh, the cancer types so this is the average treatment time and the average cost for the some metadata information to be specified this is a uh, medicine uh, status that means essential medicines list expanded uh, for the some information so uh, this is the graph so this is the uh, leading complications of diabetes patients this means dental disease complications of pregnancy uh, hypertension eye problems leading to blindness and the emotions uh, so heart disease and the stroke so these are some particular informations or some disease based uh, disease patients uh, to be attacked for the diabetics okay so these are some informations to be specified so click to the next automatically we are classifying uh, so now the demo is finished thanks for listening